Okay gang, next up is the third test for the PMR30 22 Magnum by Keltec after putting the red dot on. My first test was just a quick one. It had a lot of malfunction, so I waited, went back out, gave it a better test with both mags. Make sure it wasn't mag involved. It's still jammed up every well, about second or third round you can check out the video we got referenced in the description to see that last time out and there also be the link to when I put these mods on these magazine bases and the sights and the little rail so I went home cleaned it real good and the feed ramp was horribly carboned up so I scrubbed that good. I haven't polished it yet. So I thought I'd try it first, just being cleaned up real good. Because it like it's like every time the bullet nose was just hanging up at the feed ramp there, and you just pull it back slightest little bit and release it, and it feed. And that's what all the jams were. So I think probably weight related to the sight, which they see, say does happen on these when you put a red dot on them. They can be uh, weight sensitive. And my rail came loose that time, so that could have also affected the inertia with it being loose. So, anyway, let's give it a shot here. I think we'll just shoot it from the table here and see what we get. Okay, let's give it a try. Forgot to bring my sandbags out, so try just putting it on this bag. It's really a function test anyway, not a uh, accuracy test, and getting that sight set at this point. And I'm going to grip it solid to make sure that's not a part of the problem. So let's give it a go here. Go ahead and turn this side on. There we go. think it's made it that far as of yet so maybe that gunked up feed ramp was the issue and or the loose sight Wow, made it through. I don't know. I didn't have a full mag, but I think that was at least about 15. Oh, the sight. Actually, this is not the rail this time. It's the sight loose, but I didn't tighten that with a screwdriver, so I need to do that. And we'll try the other mag. So far, so good. Okay, here we go. new failure there haven't seen this one in all this testing the fired shell never even got a chance to get out of there by holding that to where you can see so there it goes does have a damn good trigger yep. here's one of the original malfunctions right there just started in the uh, in the hole there and hung up let's see pull it back just a hair yep just heard it snap in hmm. so Maybe that magazine spring just doesn't good enough, you know. It's just not kicking that shell up all the way, getting that back end of that shell up. 
because when I pulled that back a little bit, that back end of that shell kicked up. There's the same one again. It, it just popped up. I barely pulled it back. I have to get those magazines back apart and clean them and uh, hit them with some Gunzilla, which ends up drying like a dry lubrication. Maybe make sure the edges on those metal followers are smooth. That shell pops up. Hmm. Well, I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's magazine related, unless back into that shell's not popping up because it's just not slide back all the way but I said if I came out here and it didn't work this time I would try it with the side off see if I still get those same issues so let's try that same mag side off see if we get some of those same issues so we can... okay my handy dandy Victoria Knox here oh, that's not the screw head let's see I'll take that thing off Sights off. Well, I got the rail to stay tight. It's just the sight doesn't want to stay tight now. Okay, so now we'll load up that same mag with about 10 rounds and give it a try. Okay, red dot is off. Same mag. I think eight rounds in there. Give it a shot here. Same issue. So I would say it's not the weight of the red dot. I think it's these damn mags. Yep, sure is. This has been a hell of a test. So, I guess this is going to go to test number, what will it be, four, where I'll work those mags over, make sure that follower has got smooth edges so it'll slide inside the magazine case. 